be the Bible. There's, there's no way they're into the Trinity. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you, but now I just want to know who you are. As in, would you say you go for to the Bible for your theology, and what gives maybe credence to the Bible for you if you do? Uh, I could go to the Bible. I could go to any scriptures, really. What are the scriptures? I can go to. Uh, I can I can read the writings of different mystics from different religions, Christianity, Islam, Judaism, uh, anything really. Um, but um, because it's not just kind of like narrowed down into one kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, but I would say Jesus is my main teacher. Yeah. Yeah. Why do you Why do you think you narrowed him down a lot? Like your main teacher, why do you think you do that? Is it something subconscious, culturally, or you actually selected it to be him mainly? Uh, because where do you even get the information of Jesus? You'd have to go to the Gospels, but the Gospels are very, so they argue it's unreliable documents. Like the synoptic problem that Matthew and Luke copied from Mark. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't, I don't, I, I don't have an issue with it being no. uh, changed. Changed. Well, not that I don't have an issue with it, but I'm, I'm aware of it. Yeah, but then how do you know what you're getting is a well, historical? I, don't, I haven't read the Bible for a long time. So. Huh. Yeah. What's the reason of that? Because I know there's too many changes in it. So as a Christian reading the Bible, you, you've distanced yourself. Because you realise there's too many. I read things like the. Uh, the I read other things now, like the, like the Gospel of Thomas and things like that. Gospel of Thomas, yeah. yeah. Do, you know, do you know about the Gospel of Thomas? Yeah, it's like a saint's gospel, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then if you believe the so Q source documents, do you know about the Q source documents? Yeah. They, they never believed the Q source uh, document, which is the basis of Luke and Matthew, existed because it was only hypothetical and it was only a saying document until they found this uh, Gospel of Thomas. And because the, the Gospel of Thomas is only a saying document, it gave, it gave uh, credence to the idea that the Q Gospel existed. Yeah. And even before these two, the Gospel of Thomas and the Q source, there's something called the common saying source. Yeah. Yeah, but we don't actually have much about that. You're saying so the, uh, you follow like a apocryphal, but how do you determine what's truth in that? Um, I just basically go by, I, I take stuff from the gospel, main gospels as well. Mm. But like for example, I like to meditate on the, on the Sermon on the Mount. Yeah. I don't know if you've heard of that. Yeah. Um, but I like to meditate on that. And, um, and the, because the Sermon on the Mount is just more instead of do this, do that, do this, do that, it's more of like a state of being. Mm -hmm. And I can resonate with that from my experiences that I had with that light. But doesn't it become arbitrary? Let's say you follow or believe in something because of experiences. And I may have, uh, if we're looking for truth or reality, now you through your arbitrary or experiences come to one conclusion. I buy the same I've had this argument okay. before, I'm not going into it again, this is why yeah. I don't want to talk about it. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Okay, well, what about Islam? What makes you say no to Islam? Do you have you have you uh, a position on this or? Because I don't believe in hell. You don't believe in hell? So what do you believe in? As in that people will just go to heaven? No, I believe there's a I believe everybody has to go through a cleansing process. depending on what you've done. The cleansing process will be longer, but I believe that after the cleansing process, everybody will go back. Now, where do you get this cleansing process from? Like, where do you get this idea from? I got it from. I think I got it from Kabbalah. Okay, so but I suppose what I'm saying is, what standard are you using to select this theology from that, or this aspect of theology from this, and this aspect of theology from that? Like the Gospel of Thomas, I take this idea. Kabbalah, I take this idea. Yeah. What's the standard you're using to say that I'll take this, I'll take that? It sounds like pick and mix almost. Could it not be? Are uh, you not in fear of falling into that pick and mix and creating your own theology? No, I'm not creating my own theology. Because uh -huh. I, just, I, just, I just say, all I say is, instead of thinking things in your mind, mm. coming up with ideas and concepts, in your head about things. Be led by that love in your heart, which is from God.
Okay, but this is like a vague kind of thing. Like love leads people to many places, right? Different persons go to different places. So again, what's the standard? Because it becomes arbitrary. What's in your heart in terms of love differs from what's in the next person's heart because of love. So if we I don't mean I don't mean my love. I don't mean my love. I mean the love of God that connects. Yeah, I know that. No, but I, no, I'm say, that's what I'm saying. The mystics of every faith yeah. will all come to the same conclusion what's about that? divine love and oneness. And what's that? That everything is that everything is in divine order. Yeah. The only thing that's stopping us from reaching our potential is our is 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 that we've come into a world where we where it, it, it seems like everything's separate. You know, so it's our minds telling us that we're separate when we're not separate from God or each other from God and out each other where the, but the reality is everything's connected and and the only the only thing that really matters is pure consciousness pure love from the divine so God created you just for pure love is what I'm yeah, understanding and, and, and for pure love and, and a relationship with with him how do you have a relationship with him you surrender and allow and, and, allow, and allow God to and allow and, and allow God to work with you. But then, isn't it surrendering to your desires, how you think things should be? No, no, it's not. If I relied on my desires, or anybody relied on their desires, we'd be off doing weird shit. That's what I'm saying. It's arbitrary. So. It's like when you have theology and you're coming from yourself, what suits you or what re resonates with you. I'll take this from Buddhism, I'll take this from Christianity, I'll take this from Islam. You conjure up your own kind no, of not. theology. I'm not. Like what is the standard you're using to say this is right and that's wrong? You, can, you, you should be able to tell what is love and what is, what is love, meaning what is truth. But what is the meaning of love? Let's, say, let's start with that then. Love is not just a feeling. Okay. Love is a state of being. Love is your true essence. Okay, what is this? Is and said, you know what I mean? These are very vague, almost, you know, terms we're using. It's your essence. What's your essence? What is your essence? What is my essence? Love. But they're circular. Love is your essence. Essence is your love. You know what I'm saying? When we're saying things, but it seems like we're not examining them properly. And, and this is one of the problems, obviously, when you're like. Picking from here, picking in here. There's no critical it's, analysis. It's, 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 it's simple, it's pure unconditional love. But what is that? What is, that? what is pure unconditional love? Yeah, you're right. You see? God put that, you say, in your heart. But it differs from every single person. And how does love guide you to truth? Love is true. It, can, it can guide you to good family, maybe good people, love or a true. hobby. Love is true. But truth is more. One plus one equals to two. Love can't determine that. Right? I'm not on about that concept. No, but that's a truth, isn't it? But you, we do things out of love. Well, we're supposed to anyway. Yeah, 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 but we do things for other reasons as well, not just love. That's something truth is one of the things. Okay, but for I'm, example, I'm not, I'm not on about things in this world that human beings have created. No, that's fine. Theology. I'm talking about theology or belief systems. Yeah? To use a sentence that we're guided by God only by love uh, and to be able to pick and choose from different theologies, it doesn't really guide us. It's a pick and mix. What I'm saying is that there must be some kind of standard or determining factor that leads us to the truth. Yeah, having that love in your heart. Having that love in your love and truth in your heart. If you have that, that's pure emptiness, pure... Okay, how did love move you from a Trinitarian to a Unitarian, for example? Because it made me realise that God is this love. And in this love, there's no one, two, three, four or anything. It's just pure being. It's just pure existence. There's no, there's no one God, two God, three God, one, one Trinity, four, four, four. This, even the concept of one God yeah. is, is nonsense. Why? Because God is not a, a number. God is not a, God is not a one being, one person no, thing. Numbers are abstract things, but we use it descriptively. Okay. Yeah. God is just pure love, and that's it. Pure awareness, pure, pure, pure being. When you're saying this, are you talking about divine simplicity? Is that what you're talking about? God is love, is that what you're referring to? What, then what does that statement mean, God is love? 
is, is like for example, can you say God is powerful? God is a spiritual force of love. Yeah, but, but you don't say he's pure love. Is he not any other things like all powerful, all knowing, all seeing, yeah. all hearing? Yeah. Yeah. So what do you mean then he's all love? Like what does that actually mean? There's like many people say this. Yeah. I've never really grasped or understood it. What does it mean that God is all love? Even in the biblical sense, it doesn't make sense because he hated Jacob before Jacob had done it. I don't know. I don't know. I don't, so I don't, you don't follow the Bible? I don't really agree with a lot of things the Bible says. But well, what's the reason if you were just going back to because, your problem? Because myself, my experience, along with, it, along with a lot of people's experience, with, for example, near-death experiences, yeah. and a lot of physical people, when you come into, when you come into contact with this, with this presence, mm. you realise there's nothing outside of this love, everything's connected, there's just nothing but love, there's no judgement. There's no, oh, I'm going to go, you, I hate this person. There's no, there's no, I hate this person. So you don't hate anyone ever? The hate has never been an emotion that's in you? I never said that. No, I'm asking, I'm asking. I'm a human being. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm, I'm, I have, I, I, I lack. I, 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 sometimes I hate. Sometimes, sometimes I think to myself, you're an absolute arsehole to someone. Or I might think, I'm not perfect. But I know deep down in every person's soul, mm is the divine light of, the, of, of God. Okay, but what does that mean? Divine light of God is in every single we are, we are, We are in the likeness of the Creator. Okay, but... Okay, so now you said a different thing. You said the divine light of God is in... With, with, yeah. So what do you mean by that? His wisdom, his knowledge, his truth, okay. his, his pure bliss is in everything. And that, and that is the that is the source of truth for every every person. Okay. Okay. So you no longer there's no Christianity with you at all. I thought I was speaking to a Unitarian, but now you just confused me completely. <laughs> yeah. No, like I said, Jesus. Like, is my, even this theology you're like talking about. Jesus. Jesus is my main teacher. But why is he your main teacher? If all you can get from him is the Bible and you don't believe the Bible to be something which is uh, preserved. No, I believe, there's, I believe quite a few things in the Bible. But how do you choose what's true and what's not, that's what I'm saying? Because, because the, the idea is that we don't just, once you, once, you realize, once you realize and come into encounter with the light, it's not no longer about reading things in a book and believing. It's about you gain you gain wisdom by having divine encounters with, with the divine, and each experience you have growing more knowledge and wisdom. That's how you. That's how. That's how we're supposed to grow. It sounds like nice words, but I'm just trying to define these things so it's understandable beyond yourself. You know, like it's in when we say like we're united with God through love or each other. Like what does that mean? You know, what does it actually mean? If I love someone, then I'm connected to God. You know I mean, it sounds nice and everything, but I'm trying to understand this. You know? We're going back to what we just said. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I don't really but want do you to see the problem uh, that, like, someone who's trying to understand your theology will have? It's like these are terms we use, but we never exam examine them. That like we're driven to truth by love, for example. No, sometimes we're driven by to truth. Because we're researching, we want to make things logical, for example, not just love. Our own understanding of how we kind of live day-to-day -day basis as human beings is nothing compared to how we're supposed to live. We are supposed to... How do you determine without law... Sorry. Without a law, how do you determine how to live by yourself, law. Because the arbitrary. This is the point I'm trying to say. Maybe I, this is the, the law, debate. You are the law. You yeah. are the law. What does that mean? Yeah, this is what I'm saying. You are arbitrary. You you make up your law. I no. make up my law. No, no. If you're free, if you're free, you will live by the light of love that is inside of you. And you're. But this differs in each person, no. so it goes back to being arbitrary again. No, no, no. If you if you're really open to the truth, it doesn't. Which, which, like I said, forget the forget the mainstream people of each religion. The the the, the forget the um, uh, what do you call them? Um, the fundamentalists in each religion. Forget the fundamentalists in each religion. I'm on about the mystics who set who who, who who are seeking after truth and who actually gain wisdom. I'm on about that. They they will all say the same thing as what I'm saying. 
between light and love is within each person and is each person. Pure consciousness, pure awareness, pure being. But l l light is different from human beings. No, that's your essence. Our essence is light. Yeah. What is the essence? Essence is just your your pure your pure. And, and we have as essence, we have attributes and everything. Yeah, but essence doesn't exist by itself. Nor does attributes. It doesn't exist by itself. So when you say light is our essence, that light, light is God. Do you see what I'm trying to say? I'm trying to define these things. Yeah, I'm having a hard time to 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 grasp that in my mind. Or and even I don't blame him because Islam yeah. doesn't teach you anything. But he's not the kind well, of it does actually. It does, it does, it does. But I'm just trying to, I'm not trying to be a tech, I'm just trying to understand your point. In Islam, we know, we know that we're made to worship. This is the purpose of our being. And there is heaven and hell afterwards. No, we believe that in Islam. Yeah, yeah. So we don't have that, that dilemma. That we, have. we believe God is just. And hence we have heaven and hell. You be good, you go to heaven. You're not good, you don't go to yeah, heaven. Yeah. yeah. So we don't. Have, and we say well, we are humans. We sin. Kulu bani Adam You know, every single uh, child of Adam, he makes sins. But the best of them are the ones who return to God. So we're composed of many things. Love. We got hatred in us. We got happiness with us. Sadness. All of this stuff. So it's not, Islam doesn't fail in answering these questions. Yeah. We know who we are as humans, we're flesh, we're bone. Islam yeah. tells us this. We're made of also passions, yeah. like, uh, like I mentioned, jealousy, hatred, all of this stuff. And we're very stuff complex stuff. These stuff and, you're talking about, yeah. we're supposed to die to. This is what you're supposed to die to. Because we're supposed to put on the higher consciousness, the higher, the higher nature of God. We're supposed to get rid of this, these desires and passions. Well, love is a the very is a passion. So if you're saying now no, get rid I'm of it, about human love. We need to get rid of that human love as well. Uh -huh. We need to put on the divine love of God. But how do you know that's divine love of God? What do you mean? How do I know? How do you know what you're talking about or what you think is in you? Yeah, is a divine love of God, not divine love of yourself. It might be your love, a desire for a thing. How do you discern that this is not my love? It's God's love. Because ultimately, we come from that source. Therefore, when we come into, in, into contact with it, we know straight away what it is. We know straight away. It's not something foreign to us. So we, won't, we, we will know straight away. What, we will feel like we're at home when we come into contact with this light. So you feel, you feel like you've come in contact with God's love? Yeah. So, but then why do you still like hate or think this person is such and this if you've come in contact with God's love? I'm not saying I, 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 I hate. No, no, I'm not saying you are, but there are times where you hate. You mentioned before that, of course, sometimes I think this person is like X, Y, Z. Yeah. Yeah. But if you come in with divine love, why does that still exist in you? Because, because that love needs to be slowly built up in you. That, that love needs, it, it needs to slowly grow. And where are you getting this information from? You said the esoterics, like it's in, from different religions. Where do you get that idea from? Like we can determine what's true because of love, what type of love, the love of God. Where do you get this information from? Through the through the, through the the experience I had with the divine, and also and also I did. So 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 it was the experience that you got informed of yeah. this. Yeah, it's something that needs to slowly grow in you. So couldn't a shaman say the same thing? Like he went through experience. Yeah, I, I, I don't know one of these experiences that shaman has, botanical shaman. experience. You know shaman. No. Okay, let's just say someone has an experience or let's say someone takes drugs, for example, yeah. and says he has a connection with God. How do I, uh, how do you even investigate what he's saying is true or not? Well, I don't think that, that, that they're having an experience with drugs is the same thing as... No, no, but many people, there are many people who take drugs always, or not always, a lot of the time, they have experiences which are divine. Maybe. You always know hear this about people. DMT and I know a couple of people. cannabis and everything. I know a couple of people when they had the, their experiences with the drugs yeah. that it led them to spirituality. It led some people, I know one or two people. That are coming down to this information that you're coming with. Yeah, hold on one second. Oh. I'm saying 
that these people, once they can come into can encounter these things through these maybe these drugs or whatever. Um, one person I know, because he had the ex uh, experience with the drugs, um, he ended up going to India for six years. <laughs> yeah, so he ended up going to India for so six years. So something can't be right. In the world, okay, you have experience, you end up in India for six years. Like. Yeah, learning, learning from the, from the, from the teachers. But, mm, no, I don't know, I don't know. Is that like very arbitrary? Learning from, learning like from pick and mix, teachers. yeah. It's learning from spiritual teachers. Mm. That's why, the, that, that's what their, their, their drug... So uh, last time I listened to you, I thought you were Christian. This is the whole, I uh, thought, wanted this discussion, but it seems like you've left that completely. Uh, you know? uh, just listening to you, it's like I've got a different person completely. I must, by the way, I must say, mm. when I had my encounter with the light, mm. I did see Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I did see him. Yeah. So How do you know it's Jesus? This one say all of these things like you have to question yourself, right? How do you know it's Jesus? How could how do you know it's not the devil? How do you know it's just an illusion? And that's like why I said, or something. Like I said, one thing the devil cannot do to you yeah? is give you the experience mm -hmm. of, of what the Bible calls the fruits of the spirit. So that's a biblical teaching you take? Yeah, I told you I take things from the Bible. Yeah, but how do you determine that is true? From my from me encountering. Well, then it's a bit circular, isn't it? Because I, because I encounter I, it, I because, believe it because the Bible says we, it. We can, we can only, we can only, we can only bear witness to the truth if we experience that life ourselves. Anyway, last time uh, the, I, I thought you were very like the idea of Islam. You were close to the idea of Islam because you believed in one God. You still believe in one God? Like I said, there's no one God, two gods, three gods. There's just pure. Pure, it's a spiritual force of love. That's what it is. But That's why do you define it only as love? This is what I'm trying to say. Why only Because in love? that love, everything comes out. Truth, it, knowledge, does, wisdom. No, but it doesn't. That doesn't make does. any sense. Attributes are different from each other. Not, uh, for example, the attribute of justice or mercy or all, all of this. It comes out of that love. No, 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 no. Not all of it comes How out. Know? Strength. How, do How does know? strength come from love? Of course it does. These are, these are just attributes. And they're for all example, for example, the, not, for example, the Bible says, no. the Bible says, I'm not a Christian. Okay, the Bible says, the joy of the Lord yeah. is my strength. Okay. Now, why are we going to but joy? But there's joy, and there's strength. Where's the love? This is the point I'm saying. If you but say that, all these attributes here, which are different, come yeah. from love. Uh, where they do you all, get this? They all come from the essence of love. Okay, anyway, so you believe in God, yeah? Yeah. Yeah, you don't say one or two, this and that, but ultimately it sounds like you're saying one. It sounds like you're saying one. Yeah, well, you just, you? huh? You're not saying two, are you? No. You're not saying three. No. You're not saying more than three. No. So it sounds like you're saying one, whether you say it or not. Okay. But, but love is not one. Is but it? you believe this? Uh, but love is not one. But love yeah. is not numbers. Well, love is different to God. No, it's not. So when you love someone, that is God. No, I told you our human kind of love. Uh huh. Is, is different is from no, the, divine love. To the divine love. Yeah. Our human love is is a tiny little ant compared yeah. to what So God's when you have love in your heart, God's divine one, I have God's divine one. That's the same God? If we have God's divine love. Yeah. It's the same. Yeah, so this is what I'm saying, you reduce God as a creator, created you, who's merciful, all that to a feeling you have in your heart. No, it's not. It's, I told Is you. Is he a creator? But you haven't been listening. No, I have been listening. No, you haven't, because if, you oh. say, if you've been listening, mm. if you've been listening, you wouldn't have just said, I've reduced God to a feeling. You just say God is love. Love is a feeling, right? Look, not the human love. You're yeah. all about human Okay, love. well, explain to me what is this divine love? The divine love is pure awareness. Is it a feeling? Pure awareness, mm. pure consciousness, pure being. Okay. Just. Just being, you know, being. Yeah. yeah. Just pure being, mm. and that in that being, everything comes out. Everything comes out of it. Life, love, truth, wisdom, knowledge, everything. Everything comes out of that. But explain. Being. I know you're saying it, but explain. It, it seems like we're going round and round. Well, way. that's because you're taking me round. <laughs> okay. So anyway, yeah. I thought you were Unitarian. I have to probably close it there. Then it's, uh, it seems like you completely different. No, I, I wouldn't say I'm a Unitarian because that means that they're still putting labels on. Yeah. They're still putting labels on things. Yeah. I'm not, I'm, I don't I don't put I don't want to put labels on, on, uh -huh. on, 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 on 
So maybe next time, and I think we've spoken so much, just trying to figure out what is, maybe next time we'll speak about Islam, what are the ways you have that you say no to Islam. Yeah? Alright. No, Chris? Okay. <laughs> Easy.